Well, in just over 24 hours from now, the Senate will vote on the nomination on Debo Adebule for Assistant Attorney General of Civil Rights. His controversial role in the case of Mumia Abu Jamal, the radical man convicted of killing a cop in 1981, certainly has sparked controversy over his suiting for the position. Joining us now is the widow of that slain police officer, Maureen Faulkner. Good morning, Maureen. Thanks for being with us here. Good morning, Elizabeth. You know, I know you're working around the clock just to get your voice heard, and certainly those, um, I think, 25,000 signatures that are with you in terms of at least getting out there your resistance to a Louis nomination and possibly confirmation for this assistant attorney general position. Why won't the Senate hear your voice after he has defended the man who brutally murdered your husband? I don't know. I've tried. I've been calling senators over the past several weeks um, and trying to speak with them to let them understand that this man took on the case 27 years after my husband was murdered. Um, the Legal Defense Fund took it on. He he championed my husband. Um, made my husband into instead of into a, somewhat of a martyr i think i mean made the murderer into a martyr and i'm just absolutely disgusted from it abu jamal shot your husband i believe twice in the back then looked at him in the face and shot him between the eyes the man who was up for this position defended him the senate won't look at you straight in your face and hear you? Have you heard from Harry Reid? Have you reached out to him so that they can at least hear your voice? Yes, I have. I did, I did hear from Pat Leahy about two weeks ago saying that they would not hear my voice and I've been calling. I called Harry Reid's office several times to ask if they please would not have the, the full Senate hearing this week because I was going to be out of town and I never received a response from them, which I think is a disgrace, an absolute disgrace. Uh, and so I'm not able to be in Washington where I would like to be sure. uh, during the Senate committee hearing. Maureen, your husband protected the freedoms of citizens. Uh, Senator Bob Casey said, you know, citizens should feel great about who is nominated for this position. Your husband doesn't have a voice today. Uh, because of a man who killed him, the man who defended, the man who killed your husband is up for this position. What would your husband say if he had the chance? What would his sentiments be? Let the Senate know. I think the Senate needs to know that uh, my husband would feel that, you know, this is evil. Uh, it's unjust. And they really need to look at the facts of who this man is that they are nominating for the Department of Justice Civil Rights. He is the wrong person. There, I'm sure, are better people than him to lead our country Certainly. with the civil rights, in the Civil Rights Department. Maureen, our hearts are with you through this. Please let us know what next steps are if you hear from Senator Harry Reid and any updates thus far. We'll be standing by. Thank you for being with Fox and Friends. Thank you.